Good morning. I'm Mr. Trotter. I'm going to be taking you through a walk to Discovery Edge. I hope you'll join me. Today, we're using acrylic paint on a white canvas. The possibilities are endless, just like the journey I've taken through Discovery Edge. I started at Schuyler Central High School. It seems like eons ago, but it was only three years. I've been doing Discovery Ed for the past two. Like Discovery Ed, this painting had to start with the foundation. We're going to start with some pink. No pressure. Just see what happens. You got to go with the crisscross pattern. Really spread that paint in there. I'm using my two inch brush for maximum efficiency. Discovery Ed has taught me about efficiency and different tricks and tools to use to reach as many kids as I can in my art class. Beat the devil out of that real quick. <clears throat> Okay, we're going to switch some colors up. Again, like Discovery Ed, we're switching techniques to fit whatever the situation may call for. I don't know, what do you think? It's starting to look like a water landscape. That's what's so nice about painting. There's no pressure, we can do whatever we want. take the tip of the brush. I'm going to start adding some defining lines in there. Now with Discovery Ed, there's not as many de defining lines, at least in my art room. I don't use technology as much as some other classes, which is where Discovery Ed, at least when we started, was kind of aimed towards. Like those little mountains in there starting to build it up. So I took a different approach rather than technology. I started using more relationship building and individuality techniques, making sure kids have a voice in the projects they do. While having a voice, they're learning the same skills that each other are learning, but in a manner that fits exactly what they need, what they want out of the project. Now we're going to start adding some detail. We're going to start adding some, some happy little trees in there. Just cause. Let's see. Let's see where it goes. Still using my two-inch brush just to build it up. I'll tell you what. We're going to be flexible. Like Discovery Ed has taught me. We're going to be flexible. Roll with the punches. I'm going to switch brushes up. Let's see what we get. Building it up. We're going to take the edge. We're just going to start building up some branches. We're going to give these branches a friend. Everybody can use a friend, right? Everybody can use a friend. No pressure. Now, unlike Discovery Ed, this, this is not planned out. We're just rolling with it. We're just discovering while we go. But what I have picked up from Discovery is kind of helping with planning, planning different lessons, planning different outcomes. Now we don't throw a fit if it doesn't, doesn't land where we expect it. You roll with it. If anything, that'll be our little secret. Yeah, that's exactly what I intended for it. As long as the kids are learning, that's the main goal. No pressure. We can make it whatever we want. You see the trees are starting to fill in. Say so we put some, put some 
bushes down here, just to just to make it interesting. Why not? Why not? Contrast there. Notice I haven't been washing my brush. Just letting it blend. Letting all the colors influence each other. That also is what happened about year two in Discovery Ed. Once the kids started getting used to it, I became a facilitator of knowledge rather than the provider of knowledge. Kids were able to start teaching each other. Building up the layers, letting the students, or in this case, the paint, tell me where it wants to go. By doing this, specifically this year, as it's all starting to come together, the students have had a lot of success in art shows and scholarships and other defining moments that help redefine what we think art can accomplish. Let's see. I'm going to go with my palette knife here. I'm going to do some defining. Define the edges a little bit. Get some dirt, get some grounding. Maybe add a little shadow in the white. I think we need another tree over here. What do you think? I think we do. Let's go big tree. Let's go ginormous tree. And you can do this with your palette knife. You can do this with a small paintbrush. I think we'll speed it up a little bit and do it with our old, old friend, Mr. Two Inch Brush here. I think he needs a friend. Nobody wants a lonely tree. Building it up, making your Z's. The other thing Discovery Ed has taught me, you give the kids the empowerment to choose their own learning, you don't have very many Z's. Nobody's falling asleep in this class. That's right, why would they? They're creating their own knowledge building up their own tools, their own two-inch brushes. Uh, see, I like the bushes in there. I'm not washing it off. Beating it a little bit, make it. Remember who's boss. background get some depth. Depth to the picture means depth of knowledge. What do you think? Should we start adding some highlights? I guess that's as good as transition point as I can go. All right, highlights to this tree. I'm giving you highlights of the Discovery Ed journey I've been on. It's not the same as everybody's. I've been doing a lot of self-reflection. Maybe that's the most important thing that it's taught me is being a reflective teacher, knowing what worked and what didn't work and having the, the ability to change what worked and what didn't work on the fly to a Make it valuable to, in any situation. Speaking of reflection, maybe we need to add a little reflection in there. In closing, there is no end to the journey of knowledge that I've been on. Unlike this painting, which I think is done.
Thank you for joining me on this journey. I hope you'll come back tomorrow. We have a lot more to learn. Thank you.